Kate Middleton beamed as she congratulated England's rugby players in their changing room after they saw off Fiji in a thrilling Rugby World Cup quarterfinal. The Princess of Wales, 41, was photographed applauding the team after they resisted a late-game pushback by the South Pacific nation to win the match 30-24. She shook hands with Samoan-born center Manu Tuila G, placing a hand on his shoulder as she beamed and congratulated him and the team on their progress into the semifinals. The game was staged at the Stade de Marseille, and prior to the match she sparkled as she met with delegates including Benoit Payen, the mayor of the French city, as well as England Rugby Football Union President Rob Bryars and Sir Bill Beaumont, chairperson of World Rugby. The Princess of Wales continued her new style of smart dressing for the victorious day, opting for a £30 white blazer from Zara, which she has previously worn. Kate, who was seen singing the national anthem at Stade de Marseille, may have been the Red Rose's lucky charm after she oversaw their incredible opening round victory over Argentina in the same stadium. England fared better than Wales, who lost to Argentina yesterday while Prince William and George cheered them on. George, who appears to have shown his loyalty to Wales, didn't make the trip out today. Kate was instead joined by Bill Beaumont, the chairperson of World Rugby and Rob Bryars, president of the RFU. The princess was joined by tens of thousands of England fans who took over the sun-kissed city today. Supporters invaded the bars lining the streets to the Stade de Velodrome dressed as knights as they willed Steve Borthwick's men to do the business. They were seen belting out hits including Sweet Caroline as the idyllic French city turned English for one day only. The Red Roses upped their game to defeat the Flying Fijians, who beat them at Twickenham earlier this year. But among those backing them to do the job was Blair Sales, 60, and his son Seb, 20, who came dressed as knights for the epic fight. Before the match, Mr. Sales, who has worn the same outfit to the last three World Cups, said, I think we'll do it today, we've got to against Fiji. Seb, who traveled with his father from Bath, added, if we get the scrum right we should win. Debbie Harris and Mike Taylor came dressed as Knuckles McGinty from Paddington 2 and are hoping England will put the Fijians on lockdown. Mr. Taylor said, I am expecting England to turn it on today, I think they'll do it. Bradley Webster, 38, and friends James Chappelle, 43, and Nigel Wilson, 58, came dressed as Fijians in Hawaii outfits but believe the Red Roses will win. I think it will be tight, but we will do it, said Mr. Chappelle. England are the only home nation left in the competition after Wales and Ireland crashed out last night.
But Fijians were looking for an upset with Isairli Vuledausiga, 42, and Weija Boganazoki, 40, traveling all the way from the Pacific Island for the match. The team was stunned by Portugal last week after a good run of form. Mr. Vuledausiga said, This is different, this is a quarter final. It's do or die. I think we will do it, but may the best team win. It comes after Prince George put on an animated display as he watched Wales take on Argentina in the quarter-final of the Rugby World Cup. The Royal, 10, travelled to France with Prince William to cheer on Wales at the Stade de Marseille on Saturday, adorably matching with his father. The outing is the first time the youngster has watched an international sporting fixture in person overseas, and he certainly made the most of it. While his mother the Princess of Wales supported the England rugby side as the patron of the rugby football union, George, by attending the Wales game, appeared to have made his loyalties clear. George, a future Prince of Wales, arrived with his father, who is patron of the Welsh Rugby Union. He was a mini-me of William, with both wearing matching navy suits and red ties, the latter seemingly a patriotic nod to the Welsh side. The pair were greeted by World Rugby Chairman Sir Bill Beaumont, France 2023 Deputy Chief Executive Martin Nemesic and Welsh Rugby Union President Gerald Davies. George was the first to be welcomed by Sir Bill, stepping forward to shake the former England rugby player's hand and say hello. William laughed and chatted with the former England captain, telling him, Nice to see you. I thought I'd bring George along tonight. Introducing his son to Davies, William remarked, Gerald wore the jersey for Wales and was one of the best players ever. Bill played for England. Pointing to Davies and then to Sir Bill, William joked, he was very fast and he was quite sluggish. George and William were sat in the presidential box to watch the game. In February last year, George stood between his parents as they watched England versus Wales in the Six Nations, but he was undecided on who to support. Quizzed at Twickenham on who he would pick, the young prince shrugged his shoulders and smiled at William, who laughed and said, It's become quite the thing in the house, pointing at Kate, adding, She is quite into it. I am trying to stay out of it.